What is silver diamine fluoride and how can it help your patients? Details in a special interview coming up. Hi, I'm Allie Cook. Today is July 20th, 2016, and this is your Wednesday Watch. Here's today's dental news. A new material is making waves throughout the dental and mainstream media. Silver diamine fluoride is a unique material that can actually arrest decay. To get some professional input on how it works, who it's best suited for, and more, we're joined today by lecturer and Dentistry Today leader in CE, Judy Bendit. Judy, thanks so much for joining us. We're going to get right down to it. What is silver diamine fluoride and what makes it new and different? Well, Ali, thank you so much, first of all, for allowing me the opportunity to talk about this. And the reason I wanted to talk about it is because this week it's going wild all over. It was in the New York Times, it was on the Today Show, it was on Good Morning America. And so when you and I spoke about it, I wanted to have this platform to tell everybody about this exciting product. So basically what silver diamine is, it's this little tiny bottle here that's called Advantage Arrest. And it is a 38% solution. Now what that means is there's 25% silver, which is your antimicrobial, it's 8% ammonia, and it's 5% fluoride ion. And the 5% is actually twice what you would get out of a fluoride varnish treatment. But what makes it unique is that it completely arrests the decay. It actually stops the process and within 24 to 48 hours the decay is completely stopped. So it's a really exciting new product that we've never had anything like that here in the United States. What's your experience with it? Well, Allie, that's a great question. And what happened to me was about six or seven years ago, I was down in Peru and a local dentist said to me, Judy, what do you know about silver diamine fluoride? And I said, I have no idea. I've never heard of it. So I immediately came home and I started doing research and I discovered that in Japan and Australia and Mexico, they've been using this product, but it hadn't gotten to the United States. So I was looking into it, trying to find out through some of the professors at some of the schools, what, how do I get this product? And so what they said was just give it a little time. And the great news was August 2014, the FDA gave uh, silver diamine fluoride clearance as a desensitizer, which is exactly the same as they gave for fluoride varnish. So what we're all doing is we're using it off-label exactly like we use fluoride varnish. So I've actually, I contacted the company immediately and I said, hey, I need to know about this product and how do I get it? So they sold me a bottle of it and I have now done over 200 surfaces this year alone in uh, Dominican Republic and I just came back from Nicaragua and it is just an amazing opportunity for us. Wow, what kind of patients can benefit from it? Well, because it is very easy, it's non-invasive, it's inexpensive, it's the best thing that we can do to stop decay in just about anybody. Now, a lot of fee-for-service patients will go in and have a traditional filling, but there are a lot of people out there in this country that can't get to a dentist or don't have insurance. So if we can start now with some of these new hygienists who are trained and licensed to go out and they're going into some of these communities that have you know, low income or, and no insurance or no access to care, we can use this product and really be effective with it. Now it's also great for the elderly patients, if you think about nursing home patients who um, just they don't have insurance, you know, they have medical insurance, but as they get older, once we all turn 65, most of us lose our dental insurance. So this is an opportunity for the elderly as well as the nursing home patients to have something that we can place because root caries is one of the number one problems in the elderly. So we can place this around the root surfaces and be extremely effective because when most people smile, they won't see it. Is it cost effective for the dentist? Oh my God, it is, this little bottle is $129 and the, there are 250 drops in this bottle and each drop will do five surfaces. So when you look at the dollars and cents, it comes out to 52 cents per tooth to place this product. So it's extremely cost effective. Now I do want to give you a couple quick warnings. 
First of all, the only challenge with it is that if it were to drop on your skin, because it has that silver component to it, it can actually leave a small little tattoo. So what I tell people is don't worry about it. It goes away in a week or two. But what I suggest is to everybody be real careful and have an assistant with you if you can. And the pr procedure takes less than a minute. So from a cost effectiveness, it's just so inexpensive to buy and it's inexpensive to place. How is this a game changer for hygienists in addition to dentists? Well, because we can do it in most states. Now, you have to check with your state practice act because if you can do a fluoride varnish and if you can do a fluoride treatment, you can do this. So it just gives us something else that we can do to help in that, you know, treating our patients and doing everything possible to help them. Is it easy to use in the office? Are there ADA codes for it already? Yes, Allie, there are a couple codes. There are actually three codes that we can use. The first one's called a D1354, which is using it as I do when I go to third world countries. Um, it's basically just painting it on the existing surface. So that's the first one. The second one is the D1208, which is if the dentist wants to actually remove the decay, if they want to use it um, underneath a restoration, that's the code they would use. So that's the D1208. And then the final code is the D9910, and that's for desensitizing. So those are the three codes that we have. Thank you for this wonderful information, Judy. And for our viewers, if you'd like to find out more, you can visit the manufacturer's website at elevateoralcare.com. Thanks for checking out the Wednesday Watch. Stay tuned next week with more from Dentistry Today and DNN.